the thing I see and the thing I always encourage for our clients <laughs> is like haters on social media, that's a fact of life. Like that is not going to just go away. You can't regulate it. You can't censor it. There is no way to stop people from not liking what you do. Um, there's, and besides which, once someone does decides they don't like what you do, it's it's already too late. Like like the the number of people you might convert to be on your team is so infinitesimally small. There's just absolutely no way to be like we'll 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 get them onto our side. We'll get them to be behind our philosophy and our message, the things we do. Um, the best thing you can do with haters, in my opinion, is to ignore them. One, like direct content, direct contact rather just a huge waste of your time um but then the second is to just continue to make the content that you make pump out the information to dispel the rumors the myths the 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 wrong things people are saying about your business or whatever the, the bad comments um and let your audience who actually likes you be your champions of that because they will they will come through for you on that if they see you taking the high road constantly and just doing what you do um and i feel like i just see a lot of people who who Feel like they need to address all the haters and i don't understand why because you've never invoiced the hater do you know what i mean like as a business oh, yeah. owner there's no profit to that and you're just like fueling them because for whatever reason they enjoy being that yeah. type of person i that's what i don't understand like what i don't know what they're gaining but if you just respond back to them all they want to do is like keep coming back at you so there's it doesn't help <laughs>